Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be walking you through setting up Docker on OpenSUSE and exploring how to use it. Whether you are on OpenSUSE Lib or Tumbleweed, we have got you covered. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the installation, let's talk about what Docker is. Docker is a platform that allows you to automate the deployment of applications in lightweight, portable containers. Containers are isolated from each other, making it easier to run software reliably across different environments. Before we uh, get Docker installed on OpenSUSE, uh, let's say something about uh, Docker here. If we go to the website docker.com and we check this link download for Linux and if we go through the um, explanations here we can see that only mentioned Ubuntu, Debian, Red Hat and Fedora and nothing about OpenSUSE. Why I'm saying this because we should thank the OpenSUSE community for compiling uh, Docker for OpenSUSE and we can get Docker directly from OpenSUSE repository. So let's get Docker installed on OpenSUSE. So to do this, let's go to this link download.opensuse.org repositories slash virtualization column slash containers slash 15.6 because this is the existing OpenSUSE Leap version. You can do the same if we go up. You can do for Tumbleweed if you want, but for Tumbleweed by default, the latest Docker is there. Here for OpenSUSE Leap to make sure that we have the latest compiled Docker from the source for OpenSUSE Leap. In my case or my way, I do like this. I copy the uh, the link of the reboot file, and I go to my terminal. I go root, and I go to the reboot, and I just download the file in this folder. Okay, so. We do zipper refresh first to refresh our all repository and yeah we will accept the key and to refresh the rest of the repository and now we do zipper distribution upgrade with details if there is any upgrade for the operating system existing now and we can say I don't want any recommendations. Let me see if there is any distribution upgrade. Nothing. So, as I said before, always a good idea to make sure your system is up to date before installing anything new. So now, uh, let's install Docker. We install Docker, of course, using the uh, zipper command, the package manager of OpenSUSE and here we go we do zipper in for install docker i like to add this argument details to see and but before we go ahead let's make sure about the version of the docker yeah this is the latest one from the repository okay because if you want to make sure about installing the latest you should do this first info docker because now yeah from where it's coming from this repository to make sure that we are installing the docker from this repository not the existing the main repository of open SUSE. so let's and we can pass dash y for yes and just press enter Yeah, it seems the dash Y should be here, not at the end. Okay. And 
let's get back when the installation finished now the installation finished so we will we will enable the docker service to start automatically whenever the system boots and we start the service immediately so you can do that by system control enable dash dash now and docker let's see if they have socket here yeah i prefer the socket one because uh it will only start up when there is a connection coming up so to make sure that you are not utilizing uh, unneeded resources from your system and you press enter okay so we can do status to docker and we can see it is running because the socket yeah refer but unset environment variable okay so now the docker service is running on our system and when the system reboot we will make sure that the docker service is up and running when the system starts to run docker without needing sudo we will add the current user to the docker group after this we have to make sure to log out and log back in for the changes to take effect so let's exit the root here and we run sudo user mode okay dash a g capital docker and for environment variable here for user and if we do dash a user here we cannot see it yet because we need to log out and log in again so let's do this and we will be back again now let's verify docker is installed correctly by checking the version and running the hello world container if everything is set up properly you should see a confirmation message from docker but before to we are to do this before we we do this let's run id-a just to show you guys that we are already a member of the docker group here okay so docker run hello ah, before this let's see the version okay now we can see the docker version and run hello wallet and press enter this is a hello from docker and you can see some message um, for explanation to generate this message it's it's clear enough okay so now we verified our docker installation on open suze leap and let's move on with docker installed let's explore some basic commands you will be using to start let's pull an official image from docker hub here we are pulling the ubuntu image which we will use to run a container you run you write docker pull ubuntu and press enter it depends on your internet speed now it's downloading the image now to run the container this command docker run dash it ubuntu bash run the ubuntu container interactively the dash it option allows us to open a bash shell inside the container you are now running a full ubuntu environment inside OpenSUSE system like so we can see or we can run this it's not there or we can do cat etc os release and we can see it is ubuntu 24 point zero four to exit from this shell bash uh, just type exit 
to stop and exit the container okay now you can use docker ps to list all currently running containers if none are running the list will be empty so if you want to see all containers including those that have stopped use dash a so it will show you what stopped exactly and as we can see this is from the last command from the hello world we run it a few times so to clean up you can remove a container by specifying its container id or name using this command docker rm and the id here and let's clean all of it because no need for it and the last one okay so if we run this command again we can see only ubuntu left and if we done with it we can just delete it similarly to remove an image you can use docker rmi for remove image command followed by the image name but in this case we would like to see the images exist we have two you can run the command docker images and the same way you can run rmi and you can remove to clean your system if you are done already with the image okay and if we list only one left we can delete it also if we done with it okay so now our system is clear from all images and running containers for more advanced cont container orchestration docker compose a, a great tool that allows you to define and run multi-container docker applications let's install it quickly so sudo zipper and for install and docker compose and press enter this will install docker compose using zipper command after the installation let's finish it verify it with the dash dash version command when the installation finished with docker compose version so now we have the docker compose installed on our open SUSE linux and that that's it for setting up and using docker on open SUSE. whether you are using lib or tumbleweed docker provides an incredibly efficient way to run applications in isolated environment Stay tuned for more in-depth Docker tutorials in upcoming videos where we will cover Docker Compose and creating custom Docker files. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and leave a comment below. See you next time.